1991 Mercedes W124 Coupe. It's the 300 petrol model. This, unfortunately, like you get a lot in this sort of gear, man, due to ill health. The older gentleman's have this car has been off the road since 2015 and it's in a need of a bit of light recommissioning. When we start the vehicle, you'll see it starts up, but it seems to run for a couple of seconds and keep stalling. Uh, we've put some fresh petrol in it, um, but when you start it up, it seems to start and then stall. So we'll do the video, then we'll get it started. Well, it, it will need a new battery, so please bear that in mind that it's going to need a new battery. We'll have it started and running on a booster pack. Um, but like I say, with it being off the road since 2015, uh, it's going to want some, it, it wants a good uh, good little overhaul of the engine. But like I say, I'll show you that when we get round to it. And you can see we have got the bonnet open a little bit here because the latch is a little bit funny. So don't worry, that does. When it closes down, that's not how it fits. Body weight wise, we're going to start off on the, on the bonnet. It's my shetty green, this one. The bonnet has got some light scratching in it. And it's a little bit flat in places. So that's going to want a bit of a polish, I would say. But overall, there's no real dents on it. Normally, you get a bit of rust down here. That's all okay. Same on that side. The light lenses are nice and clean and clear on both sides. No problems there. The grid itself is in good condition. There's no nicks out the fins, those little chrome fins. You normally get a few dents in there, but that's all all right, nice and tidy. We're going to come down the passenger side now on the lower bumper. You can see the bumper corner is nice and scuff free. Bumper itself, it's sort of two-tone, this one. So it's a lighter colour on the bottom half, which is factory. Right-hand side bumper corner again, nice and straight. Around the corners of the wings are all good. As we come down the driver's wing here, please excuse the background noise there. I'll just wait for a couple of seconds. We've got a lot going on here today. Ah, right, there we go. You've got the chrome arches. But if you can see down here, there's a tiny little bit of a mark there. But there's no rush going through the chrome arches. The lower half is all nice and straight, as is the top half. As we're coming down the driver's door, got a few little scratches on the back of the handle. You can see that there. I chop the crosses, top across the doors all clear. Come down the door, a few little scratches here and there, but nothing major. On the rear arch, rear quarter, sorry, a few little scratches in the paint where they can see those in the camera. But all okay apart from that, as we come around this chrome arch, nice and slowly there, you can see there's a tiny little, it's not even a bubble, it's sort of like a mark in the paint there at the back across the rest of the rear quarter nice and tidy wheels and tires are all okay as well we'll just jump up on the roof now sunroof model this one normally get a bit of corrosion around the front of the top of the screen that's all okay and no issues around the sunroof which is nice as we come down the rear quarter driver's side around the petal cap a few little marks but nothing major at all there again nice and straight down that side quite a pretty looking car this one Across the top of the boot, you can see that the lack is sort of cracking a little bit. If you see that on the camera, there's some deep scratches in the lacquer, and I don't think they're going to polish out, that's for sure. So that might want some attention. A couple of little scuffs on the boot lid, but if you're sorting that out, you're going to get that bit painted anyway. Light lenses again, crack free, nice and clear, no marks on those. A little bit of a scuff on that right hand side bumper corner. The rest of the bumper is all okay as well. As we come around the passenger side, again, nice and straight down this side as well. Sits well as well, this one. We're going to jump up on the roof and come back down that rear quarter. Tiny little bleb next to the sunroof, but that's it really. These trims are all okay as well. Down the rear quarter and around the arch. Again, no rust there, nice and straight. Apart from a couple of little touch-ins on the rear quarter, there's no issues there with that. Again, the bottom half, again, nice and straight. The body kits fit nice and tightly to the door. All the gaps are good. The passenger door itself is in nice condition, nice and shiny. No issues there, no major marks on that. And on the driver's front wing, you can see a slight colour discrepancy where it's had some paintwork at some point in its life. There's a little bit more orange peel in this panel than there is on that panel. A little bit mark there. But again, no real rust issues there. But like I say, there is a little bit more sort of paint on that wing. But on the other side, interior wise, love these big pillarless coupes. You've got cream and cloth interior, door cards nice and tidy, no problems with that there. Tiny amount of wear on the seat there, see it's a little bit fluffy, but there's no rips or tears. The rest of that cloth seat is in lovely condition, nice and firm. Carpet sets good apart from wanting a hoover. 
all nice and tidy across there. The dashboard itself is all nice and clean and tidy. The center console is all original, no cracking in the wood there. All nice and tight there. We're just going to check the wheel. The wheel's still nice and firm. How these makes and before where the top of the wheel goes a little bit floppy. That's all good and clean there. Lift the seat forward. You can see those two seats in the rear are in lovely condition again. No issues there at all. No real marks on there. A little bit of cracking on the centre cut on the ashtray. There is that, yeah. A little bit of cracking there. But apart from that, door cards are all nice and tight. A little bit of a mark here where the robot comes out. For your seatbelt, but normally they're hanging off. They're all nice and tidy in there. See the passenger side as well. Interior really nice on this one. No problem with that there. You've got the central armrest as well. Showing nowhere on that. Into the boot now. Again, nice and clean. Nice and tidy in here. Nice and tidy in there. We're going to lift this up. We'll have a look at the boot floor. It's where normal corrosion is on these. Again, boot floor looks all good and nice and original there. You've got the jack, you've got the tool kit, and you've got your triangle. Nice and clean in there for boot carpet. On to the passenger side now. Door card's a little bit grubby on the bottom half across there, but apart from that, again, in nice condition. Interior on here really needs nothing, if, if I'm being honest with you. In my opinion, I don't think it needs anything. It's ready to be used, that. Again, back seat in lovely condition. I'm just going to do some dodgy camera work here and have a look. Yep, you've got the original first aid kit in the right place, which is good. I think the bandages might be a little bit out of date, but it's nice to have. And again, a little bit of shrinkage around here. But overall, nice and tidy in there. That passenger seat's in lovely condition again. No real marks at all in there. Right, like I was saying, we're going to get it started up here. We'll go through the engine bay first before we get it started. It's all nice and tidy in here. That 3 litre straight 6 engine, 3 litre, sorry, 300, yeah, 3 litre straight 6. Um, like I say, it starts and stalls, but it has been off the road since 2015. I'm going to get Johnny to start it up there. If you start it off for us, Johnny. Okay, it's running there. You see that there, as soon as you come off the throttle, it does stall. It should restart. We'll try it just so everyone knows what's going on. Oil pressure. We're just going to check the oil pressure there while it's running. See what the gauge is saying on the oil pressure. So you can see the oil pressure straight up to three there with no issues. So it is running again there. But like I say, it does start to stall, but overall it's kind of one sorting out that. What a nice base of a car that is. And there you have it, the 1991 Mercedes W124 Pillars Coupe 300 petrol.